And as I said it the third time, an elbow got placed on my windpipe really firmly cutting off my oxygen. So with what air I got, I said, you're hurting me. I looked at the police officer, young, dark haired. She didn't turn to look at me. Now that worried me because, you know, I like to think if I was in that situation, I'd want to see what damage I'm doing to somebody and are they okay? And then she just dropped that elbow down to my sternum. For a moment, I felt relief. And then immediately she applied a lot more force. And I mean a lot of force. Um, I'm a woman, I've had two kids and I watch childbirth is but she was applying an excessive amount of force um, and she just kept pressing and pressing. I said again, you are hurting me. I said it really loudly, really clearly. I'm a public speaker. I know how to project my voice. Even in that mayhem, I said it really, really clearly to her. She still didn't look at me. She just pressed and pressed and pressed. And then I felt absolute sheer agony, just oh, pain like I have never, never felt in my life. Absolute hell and it doesn't go away, you can't breathe. Every breath is agony, My God. just horrendous. And I knew I was in trouble. My legs started to go weak. I wasn't, I thought I might pass out, but I didn't pass out. My legs just went weak. And as they did so, that got me away from the pressure of her elbow. So I let myself sink a little bit further. And, and I shouted out, I need medical attention. She's broken my sternum. I need medical attention. She's broken my sternum. I did not panic at any time. I was very calm, very peaceful, but I knew that if she kept pressing me, it would damage my heart and my lungs if they hadn't already been damaged. So I didn't know if they'd been damaged, but I also knew panicking wasn't going to help. So I kept myself really, really calm. And then the next thing that happened was big arms. I got my eyes closed. I was focused on my breath because I was in such agony. Every breath hurt on a scale of 10, 10. Big arms lifting me out. So I presume that was men bigger, you know, six foot kind of men. The guys either side released me because it was clear I needed medical assistance and the paramedics were that side, not ours. So they didn't cause me any damage. But the officers, I've seen on the video since, there's a paramedic right there that they'd called to give me help. And he just stood by while the police twisted my arm up behind my back. No. Yeah, for real. You can see it on the video that two officers, one left, one right, twist my arm up behind my back when I've just said, I need medical attention. It's not like they'd arrested me. I was peaceful in the crowd. I've asked for medical assistance. And as they take me out of the crowd, they decide to treat me like I'm a criminal. And I've broken no laws. I've been peaceful. I've been there two hours. I've not been trespassed from it. I've just arrived, I've sung a few songs. Was my singing that bad? <laughs> Jeanette, I mean, I can actually viscerally feel that must have been the most agonising pain. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Breathe. But then and on top of that, to have your arms back yeah. behind your arms is, yeah. and is opening this more. That's right, and you can see there's actually a thumbprint under my arm and there's bruises all down here on the, on the, on the photographs that I've provided. They really did a good job of twisting those arms back. Can I get back to that? ghastly monstrous woman a woman did this woman, to you a girl what was the pressure is it an elbow it's pressure? The elbow. Or, the so elbow was she, was she hitting at no or just 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 she pushing. must have had the whole weight of her body on a doctor's contacted me a, a doctor that's been a, a doctor a gp for 40 years she's rung me up to say look we don't know each other but you know really she's seen what happened to me at wellington and she said you need to know i've been a doctor for 40 years and I've given CPR to countless 70, 80, 90 year olds who are in nursing homes, rest homes that are really, really frail and you do have to apply pressure, but I've never, ever broken a sternum. The radiographer at the hospital said she'd only ever seen two in 10 years. Usually it's a car accident without a seatbelt or it's a rugby industry uh, injury. I didn't expect going to Parliament as a peaceful protester on day three to be assaulted like this.